In this video, we will look at the different types of camera angles and shots that are used within cinematography. To begin, we will look at the high and low angle shots. In this scene, we have a moving object on the surface. We can see that our object is a tank, and we can see that the camera is positioned above it looking down. This is called a high angle shot. It's used to make the subject in a scene look vulnerable or powerless, as if it's being swallowed up by the camera. In our example, we can see that the camera remains fixed above the object at all times looking down on it, which creates this effect. If we change the camera's position down below the tank looking up, we can see that the subject now looks more powerful and dominant within the scene. This is called a low angle shot. It's used to make a subject look more prominent and in control. This is used in films to create a sense that something big and important is about to happen or create a situation where someone is at a low level that a person above is looking down upon. The next shot we will look at is a bird's eye shot. In this shot, the camera views a scene from an elevated view above. In our example, the camera is looking down on the tank in the scene. As it moves around within the scene, the camera remains fixed above looking down as if it was the view of a bird flying high above the ground, hence the term bird's eye view. The shot creates a perspective view as though the observer were a bird. Another shot used a lot in film is the point of view shot, also known as the POV shot. It's used to show the viewer exactly what the subject is seeing. This is represented through the camera so we don't actually see the subject themselves. This shot is created by positioning the camera in front of the subject. In our example we can see the camera is moving as if it were the subject which gives the illusion that is seeing exactly what and how the subject is seeing. Our final shot we will see is the tracking shot. This is when there is a moving object within the scene and it follows that object as it moves. The position of the camera is never static and is constantly moving to keep up with the movement of the object. In our example, we can see the camera moving around the tank, capturing its movement. This shot makes the scene look more exciting and creates a sense that what is happening is fast, quick and frantic. These are the different types of camera angles and shots used within cinematography.